Hi friends, it's Kiki. Welcome to Kiki TV. <laughs> We're people of all ages, sizes, colors, racial descents, and everything are welcome. This is a judgment-free zone. Hi Teresa. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kiki TV. So my, my announcement went out that I came live. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you. Hi, Marissa. How are you? Welcome. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm just excited to be here. And I wanted to come and do my makeup. Because I haven't done my makeup in a couple days. I don't know how many days it's been. I know... We went live yesterday with Danny. We did her box on opening, and it was on her page because I was in Facebook kindness jail, and they wouldn't l let me do it. Sorry. Hey, Renee. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you all. So excited. I love it. I love it when all my friends come to see me. So, do you guys have any ideas or anything that you would... You would want me to um, do, or do you just want me to fly by the seat of my pants? Because I can do it. I have no problem doing that. I'm inviting some friends. If y'all want, you can feel free to invite some friends too. It just makes it more fun when we have lots of friends here. I like to invite all the people. All the people to have fun. Because that's when it's fun. It's always fun. Look at there. Look at all them people I'm inviting. <laughs> How about y'all? Have you invited any friends yet? If you've invited friends, thank you so much. Hey, Jessica. How are you? Welcome. We're going to do some makeup because I just want to do makeup. I haven't done makeup in a while. And if you can, please share um, or sprinkle the love. Um, and you will go in my journey box. While we're talking about the journey box, yes, you can. If you can't share, if you want to... Uh, tag friends you could do that too every time you do that you get your name in the journey box um y'all danielle and jess are are getting close to being tied there danielle's in the lead though because she made a big old purchase this month every time you make a purchase of 25 dollars or more i put your name in five times so if you make a purchase of 50 dollars, you get 10 names so, and then I do my monthly drawing. And this, this last month's drawing, I'm going to be delivering to Jess um, on the 18th. And it's an iFitness watch. And some of our uh, cologne samples. And a little mystery treat down in the bottom. I had to open the box to make it happen, but I'm sure she won't mind. Hi, Sierra. Or Sarah, sorry. Hi, Sarah. Can't see. I'm blind. I'm sorry, but I'm, I want to do some makeup. I want to do some fun makeup. I haven't done makeup in a while. What colors? I'm wearing a uh, navy blue and light gray. Hey, Jamie. How are you? It doesn't have to match what I'm wearing. I'll just, I could just come up with something out of the sky. But I want to do, I want to do some makeup with you guys. I haven't done makeup in a while. How are you all doing? What are you, what are you guys doing tonight? Well, other than watching Kiki TV. Earlier, hey Sarah, so excited to have you. Hey Jamie, thank you for coming by. Earlier, I did not feel well at all. I was trying to catch a migraine. And I thought, okay, this is not going to happen. So I washed my face. It was uh, shortly after, after I had my coffee this morning. Washed my face real good. And I... Uh, I washed it. Actually, I exfoliated it again because it needed it. The last exfoliation. So I used my N4W exfoliation um, scrub mask. Thank you for sharing the love, Renee. Um, you need a prayer for Daddy. 
Yes, I will pray for your daddy and healing from, her, from his surgery and that every cell in his body mends back together the way you put it, God, so that he will work all of the works that you put him on this earth to work. In Jesus' name, amen. God, God hears all his children. God hears all his children. I want to use some of my new palettes that I got for Christmas. So, that's what that's what colors we're going to stick with. <laughs> and this, this is one of them. She's got a lot of really pretty shimmery colors. Pinks and tans and browns. That's one of them. And this is the other one. Look, it's chocolate. I'm going to eat it. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Savannah. Thank you guys for stopping by. Good evening. I love you. This one has colors that will perfectly go with that one. Look, let's see if we can look at them both at the same time. Oh, let's do some magic. Magic on Kiki TV. Magic on Kiki TV. Are y'all as excited as I am? Probably not. <laughs> He's home and in amazing spirits, so I'm not worried about him. I know. Well, that's not going to happen in the name of Jesus. He's going to stick around, and he's going he's gonna to be here for them grandbabies, and he's going to be all the things that he needs to be in their lives. Amen. That's all I have to say about that. And of course, if we need a little pop of bright colors, I have this little one right here that uh, Danny sent me. And I just love all the colors in it. Like the brightness. The, it's just, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, I've like used the poo out of it. So, if we need any bright colors, we can go in that one. Let's see. Let's see. I don't even know what to do with my brush. I'll put it up. That's what I need to do. Oh, my comments are messed up. No, I guess they're good. Y'all throw some hearts and emojis or or tell me how your day is. Oh, I forgot about the donut palette. We have a donut palette, too. I got it from a drawing with Michelle. Michelle is an amazing woman. If you need somebody to, like, wake you up in the morning and get you going, Michelle, go find Michelle. She's fun. It's a glam light palette, and it's a it's a... It's a donut. She's a donut. She's got glint shimmers and glitters and all sorts of stuff. Hey, Bridget. And I have this happy palette. I like I got a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna start out light and just kind of build and we'll see where we end up because I just I just want to hang out with you guys and have some fun. And if we get a whole bunch of people, I'll find something to give away. I want to have like everybody, like when I, before I went live, before I pushed, hey Rhonda, before I pushed the live button, 534 of my friends are on Facebook right now, right this very minute, 534 of them, y'all. I want, I want to have, I want us to have a little get together. Let's have a little get together. Have a bunch of people come. I'm going to start with this little, I'm actually going to use the brush that came in here because I want to see how it feels. It came with this little palette. It's a cute little palette. It's uh, Ellen Tracy. She's got the little animal print. Super shimmery, super pretty. It'll be there Friday. Yay! Praise Jesus! Yay! So exciting. You ordered it only a month of Sundays ago. I guess it got stuck somewhere in Wherever. Maybe it was on the boat with the rest of the packages. When all the other packages got stuck. You know, I was talking earlier about how my body just felt so bad and was trying to give me a migraine and make me not feel well. So what I did, I'm going to share with you wisdom. Kiki's wisdom. I may not... Be real good at makeup. And 
I may not be real good at skincare, but I'm getting better. And I love it. It's fun. I love to dabble. But, oh, they just sent you a new package? Well, shoot, you might end up having a bunch of stuff for giveaways, sister. Woo -woo. But I'm glad they're sending your stuff. Thank you for sprinkling the love. I really, really appreciate it. It lets me organically get in touch with people because I'm not going to get in people's inboxes and talk to them. I want you to say, hi. It, like, I want you to say, like, hey, this is Kiki. She's fun. She's nice. She says things that I like or she does makeup that I like or, or she's just kind of a little bit crazy and you ought to watch her. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, however you want to say it. But when you share me out, like it lets me be, you introduce me to people. And that's how it works, how communication works with people. When you, hi, my Ramona, my beautiful queen, I love you. So let's go in with some light colors. I'm going to go back to talking about what my body was trying to do to me earlier today. My body was telling me to lay down and not do nothing and not think any positive thoughts because it felt bad. It felt so, so bad. But you know what I did instead? I turned on my little music. I didn't even put any primer on. We're not even going to do that right now. We're going to do it however I do it because it's okay. I'm so glad you got me too, sister. My Ramona. Ramona. This is a nice little brush, actually, for, you know, coming inside a palette. So, this is a little bit of a shimmery color. Normally, I don't put shimmery colors all over my eyes because I have crepey eyes and they're hooded. Are you serious? Yes, I know. Who did she? She says, at the, oh my gosh. See, Renee, I told you, I told you last night. I told you last night. You're still, your spot is still available. And if anybody else wants a spot, their spot's available. I interview people on a daily basis. And if it, hey, Courtney, how are you? If it's something that I feel like they'll, they will be good at or could have a chance at doing or becoming, this is actually one I got from, for Christmas. It is a chocolate bar. It's, uh, I Revolution, uh, chocolate, chocolate orange, chocolate orange, chocolate orange chocolate orange or cocoa orange cocoa orange mm, something I have problems so that's I got this little palette for Christmas it's real cute it has some it has like muted colors in it oh well, I'm shaking sorry and right now this one is one I'm using it has it's kind of shimmery though but it's a very pretty little color right in there I'm gonna keep it right there I'm gonna kind of cover up out here but I really like the the color it is on my on my lid area in that in this region in this front the frontal region of my lid isn't it cute yeah take a bite on my coat I love it so let's just see what this color is gonna give us this is the chocolate color they don't have names on it it just said uh, it just looks chocolate so I'm going to come from my bottom lash line because my hooded eye girls, let's listen. You want to come from your bottom lash line because you want to um, make it look like your eyes are not hooded. That's the whole goal of the process is a visual illusion. <laughs> it's magic like we did earlier. Remember I held the palette up here and we saw the other palette down there. See? Magic. Magic, look, magic, magic on the Kiki Show. Look, magic, okay? So we're going to do the same thing on our face. We're going to come, see, I packed this one side, that side, with some color. Hey, Jess! And I'm going to come from my bottom lash line, and I'm going to come straight 
towards my temple. I'm just going to stamp out a little line there. Do you see how I did that? It's going to be like my little guidance, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on this side for my bottom lash line. Since I'm not using tape, I'm going to just stamp out a little line right there. It's going to be my guide, okay? My little lines are pretty even. Pretty even. I'm going to get out of this brush. I'm going to set it down because I pretty I like this. It's stiff. Unless you put it right where you want it. It's very precise. I'm going to get into a fluffy brush because we're going to play some. Which one did I show earlier? This one. This one is Ellen Tracy. And she's got the little cute animal print here. And on the inside, you can see Kiki Doozy. More magic! It's got super pretty colors. It's got some of the marbled colors. Iridescent. Super pretty. I got both of these from my Isabel. My Isabel. Give them to us. Give that to me. So, I'm going to go in with that brown color that we were just in. Roderick's home. He went to the grocery. He's going to cook us some dinner. And I'm going to see how I just followed that line and I'll pack in that color right there. And I'm going to kind of make like a little boomerang shape. Bring in this color along my fake crease. Do you see how I made a crease? above my crease hey, man. and I only packed one side of the brush I did not pack the other side so that's how I can do that and put the brush in my crease but go over my crease with the color did that make sense Danielle is given um y'all my music went off I have to go fix it wait I need birds tonight I have too much to talk about let me, I'll be right back. It's just right here. You probably will be able to see me the whole time. Shut the door, baby. I'm live. Okay. Here we go. There we go. I had to get my music back. I needed my music. I'm so, so very sorry. So we got that chocolate. And we, remember we used this big fat brush because we have hooded eyes. Half the, the brush goes into the crease and the other half makes a perfect above the crease line on my eye. I found the brush that has done that. So when you find your brush, you never lose it, whatever one it is. This one is mine. I don't know what it's called. There's not a name on it or anything, but I love this brush. I can't remember where I got it. <laughs> so I will find more of these brushes. It's, it's dense and it's, it's like a fluffy crease brush, but it's not, it's denser than a fluffy crease brush. And because my eyelids are hooded, I need the denseness. Because it helps me place properly. So I'm going to pack the one side again with that same color. See, this side does not have any product on it. It's clean. So I'm going to follow the, my line. A little cheat line, right? Okay. And then, see how that... And then I'm going to flip it. So the color is pointing upward. I'm going to put the brush in my crease. And it's going to make me a fake crease over my crease. That fits my eye shape perfectly. And I can come out just as far as I want. If you want to come out just a little bit more, 
can come out just a little bit more. You can make it how you want to make it. It doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you come in and you go side to side making sure that what you've done is fairly even so you have sisters. Now before I go any further on my lids, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I go in with the Glam Outfit Ultra Skinny Eyebrow Pencil. The reason I love this pencil is because look at how skinny. Do you see how skinny? Okay. And it's like butter. It's like butter going on. Okay, if you don't know how to place your eyebrows on your face or where they're supposed to go, you can watch YouTube or you can just listen. Nose hole over the tear duct is the beginning of your eyebrow. Okay? Nose hole over your iris is the arch of your eyebrow. Nose hole at the bottom lash line never go below that. Mine naturally stops above that and that's the same line that you want to use when you're doing your colors unless the color calls to go out to the side. I know that there's looks where you have color all the way all over but this is the easiest way to put your eyebrows on your face and have them look the same every time because I'm just gonna make my dots and then you just connect the dots tip and trick for Kiki. So, earlier, I was feeling so bad. So what I said to myself is, this is not going to win. This is not going to beat me. And I'm going to have a good day. And sometimes you just have to pick yourself up and say that. Because your body says, you're not going to have a good day. But what I did was I laid down Thank you, baby. I laid down and I listened to my music that I got playing in the background. I laid flat on my back and I, I did breathing exercises, relaxing my body. Thank you, love. You're welcome. Relaxing my body, bringing the pain level down. And when I say that your mind and your body work hand in hand, the reason why I say that is because it's possible to make pain the lesser of two feelings. I deal with pain on a daily basis. I used to be on all kinds of pain medication, all kinds, like fentanyl patches. They were putting like 150 milligram fentanyl patches on me every other day. Stuff that people touch and die. That's the kind of medicine that I was taking every day. I did not have a life. I didn't have any kind of life. I told them I don't want to be on medicine anymore. Not happening. That is not the life I plan on living. What are my other options? So they started giving me other options. Well, I'm not going down that trip right now. We're not going to talk about that. But what we are going to talk about is how you in your mind can allow one pain to outweigh another. Or one feeling. A feeling of goodness and a feeling of pain. What I did was I laid there. And I focused on the birds and the water and everything. And I focused on how it would feel laying in that water on the beach. And the sensations that I would feel. I would feel the sand under my feet and legs. I would feel the water rushing up my body as the, t as the waves came in. As, as it rolled over, I would feel the sun beating down on my face. I will imagine and remember what those feelings feel like and push away the feelings of pain and stress.
strife that I was having because of that pain. And I continually did it until my pain stopped. And I slept for about an hour, maybe, maybe 30 minutes. And I got up and I felt amazing. Now my body did need some rest, obviously, because once it was out of pain, it rested. But I woke up and praised God that he gave me the knowledge that I can control which pain or which feeling, whether it's a good feeling or a bad feeling, that I feel more. Each and every single one of us can do that. Each and every single one of us learn as a child. Have you ever noticed when a child, I'm going to use my desk to put my arm on because uh, I need to rest it. I might have to move some things though. Okay. When a child falls down, When a child falls down, you know whether or not that parent always would run to the child as soon as they fell down. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Or if that parent would say, oh, you're good. Get up. You're all right. Just brush it off. You know in public when a child falls down how they were parented. You want some patches, same amount, hated it. What patches? Oh, oh, yes. Hey, I did too. The fentanyl patches. Now I'm doing a lot better. I do four pills still. They can't fix me. The pain is horrible. I'm teaching that what I'm trying to share with you is how I learned. And I believe, I believe anybody can do it because we have... Get back up again and do it. We have the power and the ability within us to speak life or death into our lives and into the lives of people around us. We have that ability. Because if I came on here and I told you bad stuff all the time, or drama. You might come just to hear the drama to watch the soap opera unfold. Um, but if I treated you ugly and awful, you wouldn't come back. I, I pray that you wouldn't come back. If I come on here and I say something that uplifts you, or I say something that is like, man, I feel her. I know where she's coming from. I've been there. How does she get to where she is today? You know, maybe I need to stick around and figure it out. Because it's possible, is what I'm trying to say. I have, for going three years, three years, I have for about three and a half years, not taken pain medication. I have had procedures done. And the procedures that I had done, Jack's on my bed digging to China. Jack, why are you digging to China? The procedures that I had done on my back would burn the nerve in my back in different points on my back, going down my leg, down my arms, and everything. I did that for about three years, and there was so much scar tissue built up inside that area that the doctor said it was time, and I was like, it's time for what? <laughs> He said, it's time to go to the next step. Um, we need to do a SI joint fusion. And um, I talked to, I talked to him about it. I said, you know what? I want to be able to walk when, I'm, when you're done with me. And if I can't walk, we're not doing it. <laughs> and he, he said that it's very, the new way they do it. It's very non-invasive and blah 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 hey amber thanks for coming by hey lisa hey mickey i love you guys so much so what is it daddy's cooking 
So, <coughs> we went to the next step. And in that next step was uh, surgery, which is like kind of big. It's not something that is taken lightly. I had the surgery and for the first time in years, like year, years, I can feel my right leg. And I praise Jesus for that. I'm having my next surgery on the 21st of this month for my left leg. That all being said, you know the old saying, uh, mind over matter. It is possible. It is possible. Your mind just has to know how to work it. And you have to do it over and over and over. Hey, Denise, you had back surgery that went wrong. See? And the new one, it was amazing for her. She's walking upright. See, if I if I don't walk upright now, it hurts. Like, I was walking bent over because of all the pain and the smushed upness and messed upness. If I don't walk straight now, it hurts. It hurts more. So, I hold myself different. I hold myself higher. And I've noticed that in my mind, that's what, that what put this into motion. This whole, everything I'm talking about right now... Is that what put this all into motion was I could think of how it feels when Roderick hugs me. Or I can think of how good it feels when Jack Jack comes and lays up on my lap and makes my lap all warm and gives me his snuggles and his lovings when I'm in pain. And I can feel that more. Because that's so much more real to me than the pain I'm having. Because the pain I'm having is from the pits of hell. And I rebuke it. I rebuke pain for everybody in this whole wide world. Because it's the most awful thing. And the most silent and deadly thing that anybody can ever go through. Regardless if it's mental pain or physical pain. Pain sucks. And I'm, telling, I'm, I'm being real. I'm being honest. It's not fun. And I pray that everybody, everybody is pain free. But I want you to know that if you're not, and if you slow down enough, and focus hard enough on the good feelings that you have in your memory, I put money on it. Every single one of you that are on here right now. You have somebody in your life that when they put their hand on you, no matter where it is, you feel peace. And you feel comfort. And you feel the most wonderful feeling in the world. I don't care if it's your dog. I don't care if it's your cat. I don't care if it's your mom, your brother, your sister, your lover, your auntie, your uncle, your granny, your papa. Whatever... People have different things. All of us have different things. But if you take that feeling and focus only on that feeling, God will allow that feeling to override the earthly feelings that you have and allow your body to give rest. Good, real, what you need. Food rest. Good, like, needed Yummy, yes, it's possible. And I need to share that because I finally learned how to work my brain to do it. And if I don't share it, then I'm doing everybody a wrong. Because it is possible. It is possible to feel good, to feel love, even in pain, even in issues. It's just, it's possible. I want to use you all. So I moved, tilted the camera down. Now this side of the brush is packed. So I'm ha I have it upward. I'm going to come right along this lash line where I made that fake. Remember I made my line right there? And I'm going to bring it to about mid eye. That 30 minute nap that I had after I 
meditated and focused my brain on good, positive things was like a two-hour nap. <laughs> it was amazing. And I felt absolutely amazing. And I didn't take any medicine before I laid down. I have rescue medicine that I can take. But I wanted to know that I could feel love more than I could feel pain. I focused on the the water and the birds. And I focused on what it feels like when my boys, when my Roderick and my Jack-Jack, when they touch me. How, how peaceful and wonderful and amazing the love is that I feel from them. And there's no way that anybody can ever take that from me. Now I'm moving and I'm not trying to move. Oh Lord. Am I, am I, am I frozen? Am I okay? Is things back? Technical difficulties. Commercial coming to you by Phone Holder USA. The phone holders that don't always hold the phone just the way they need to be held. But now we got it. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for staying through the commercial break. What color are we going to do? Some purple? I got blue on, but it don't matter. I just, like, I'm feeling this purple down in here. See, I brought this color in. Because I don't want to shut off my eye. I want to keep it open. And I want to keep it going. Up, up, up. You good on? Okay. Everybody's good. You want a nap? I'm sorry, Mama. I'm sorry, Mama. I wish I wish I could give you a nap. Wish I could. We're too far away. I can't watch him babies from my way over here. I mean, we could video cam and I could threaten. But I don't know how good it would work. I could read them books. I had a book. One night I, I read a book <laughs> at night. I read a nighttime story on one of my lives, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to Kiki TV. I'm sure some of y'all were there. <laughs> oh. I want to get into some of this shimmery purple. I'm going to get the dark one first, the really dark purple. And come in over this brown. I kind of like this little packet brush. It's very, very dense. It's not real, real purple, though. I don't know, a little bit. Ooh, look. Mama's in the house. Hi, Mama. Thank you for sharing the love. Thank you for sharing the love. Thank you, thank you. Isn't that a pretty color of purple? I think I want to go in with my bigger brush and really, really pull that purple out. Because that's a bright, bright purple. Oh, that's not, not paying off enough with that brush. You have church tonight. What time is it? You're fixing to leave. I hope you have a good night at church. Thank you for popping on before you went. I love you big. I love you big and big and big, big, big. I'll probably get on church and watch church. They're, they're still recording it, aren't they? Or do they record Wednesday nights? I think they do. I go to the, I used to go to the same church that mom goes to. It's the church that I went to when Mark and Christian were alive. And it's hard for me to go back there. And I still love all the people. Don't get me wrong. I just wanted to wipe that off. <laughs> Sorry. I still love all the people. And I, there's nothing... Like, nobody can take that love from me that I have for those people. It's just so hard for me to be able to go and worship and break down every time. 
because it's so many memories. Um, and I love to worship. So I do it at home and it's easier. I am going to wipe that off. I can't have it. I want it to look right. I do need to come up a little higher on this side because it's, it's it's not high enough. She not she not even. We got to have our our eyelids even. But I wanted to share. I really, I just I needed. I had to. I like when I have dreams about something, I have to share. And the same thing can be applied to your business, to your work, your job. Say, um, I'm going to go in. Let me color switch this first. And color switch, it looks like this. It has a, a thing in it, and the color goes down the bottom. Actually, this one is, is I recently washed um, I got mine at the Dollar Tree. You can go to Sephora and spend $30. You can go to one Dollar Tree and get one for a dollar. It's made of the same stuff. It might not last quite as long, but for a dollar, it works. It works great. So, I'm going to go in. There's a gold color right here, and I, and it's got gold and purple. So, I'm going to go... Your phone keeps freezing. Stop it, freezing. I'm going to take this gold and purple little marble... And we're going to pop it in right here on top of our iris. We're about to get some shimmers. We're going to go out clubbing tonight, girls and boys. Gold and purple marble shimmer. But I really needed to come and let you all know that it is possible God... I believe God helped me to, he granted me that peace and serenity to be able to think about hard enough about the good feelings that I have in my life. The feeling that I get when I see each and every one of you. How excited I am that you decided to spend 30 minutes to an hour with me. Out of your whole day, you gave an hour to me. That makes me feel happy. All of the good feelings in my life, he has allowed me to learn how to feel those more than I feel my pain. Now, there are days that I don't have that capability, and I'm going to be dead honest with you. There are days that, that uh, well, thank you for liking and following. If there's ever any time you want to talk, you just let me know, because I'm here. I'm here for talking and making friends and and. And spreading love with people. Um, there, there are days that I can't. And I don't like to say I can't. Because that's a defeating. That's speaking unhealthy things into your life. I can. I always can. And I will do my best. My best isn't the same every day. So don't beat yourself up. If you choose to be your best... Every day, even if your best is different that day, you still chose to be your best. And that's what makes the difference. That's what makes the difference. Because even I've watched girls that are sit at my table, home, sick in bed, can't get up out of their bed, and in their bed filming with holding their phone, <laughs> recording themselves, using skincare because they choose not to give up regardless of the situation. And then I see people that just sit there and go, oh my God, about life, period. And they can't move. They're frozen. They're frozen people. People that are too scared to tap into their God-given gifts. The love and the wonderfulness in this world because there's so much hate and they've been hurt so many times. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming and spending time with me. And I just want to shake them. 
I just want to shake him and say, don't. Stop. Please stop it. Please. Because you can't give up on me. Don't give up on me. Because if you give up on you, you're giving up on me. And you can't give up on me. You can't give up on me. I'm not giving up on me. So don't give up on you. Like, that's serious. That's serious stuff. That's real talk right there. You can't give up on you because then you give up on me. And you can't give up on me because I'm not giving up on me. I've tried it. God didn't want it to happen that way. He makes sure. He makes sure when he's finished you with you, then you get to go home. Just like he was... He. Do you realize... And I might get a little emotional, and if I do, I'm sorry... But this is real talk right here, sisters. Real talk. I believe we're all sisters here. I don't know if any men are here. But if there are men or future men watching, sisters and brothers, aunties, uncles, cousins, children, everybody. Real talk right here. On December 20th of 2016, at 4... 15 p.m. I told my husband and my son that I love them in this earthly life for the last time because at 419 p.m. moments after we hung up the phone my husband's heart exploded the car went off the road and they were both killed instantly. And I'm here today because of God. I am here today because he's not done with me. I got way too many things, way too many places, and way too many people to see and do and all that stuff. Okay? God's not done with you. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You can sink yourself into a hole. Don't go in your brain by yourself. It's a scary, scary, scary place to go. Scary place. Take a partner. If you, do, if you don't got a partner to take with you, take God. Because there's scary things in them brains of ours. And they've been put in there since the day we were born. When your mama and daddy ran to you because you fell down. And you started crying because you thought something was wrong because you fell down. There's nothing wrong with you if you fall down. Just get up. Get up, girl. Get up, boy. If you fall down, get up. It's okay. Shake that off. Fall down, get back up. Fall down, get back up. Because no one learned how to walk in one day. And if they did, it's because they was watching extra hard. And they paid attention and they was probably walking before you knew it. Mm -hmm. Before you knew it. They didn't learn to walk in one day. A tree doesn't grow overnight. My Bridget. My Bridget, she talks about her jammer. And how he planted that darn lemon tree. And she nurses it all during the winter. And then when it's summertime, he gets to put it out of the patio. And he gets to reap the fruits of all of her labors. Because she nursed it all winter long. She's got a teammate. And he's got a teammate. They back each other up. Don't go it alone. Find your teammate. God sent me a teammate and sent that teammate knocking hard on my door because I told him I was ready to be the old cat lady. We're taking some gold and we're sticking it right here in the middle. I'm sorry I got to talking. But I'm not sorry at all because somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to... If somebody brought a pizza... Okay, I want some emojis. I want some something. I want some action right now, right here, right now. If somebody brought a pizza to your door and you weren't deathly allergic or it wasn't something that you could not eat, are you seriously going to tell them, go away, I don't want your pizza? Who likes pizza? Give me hands up. Who likes pizza? Pizza is my guilty pleasure. 
I'm sorry, uh, pizza, cheeseburger, whatever your favorite food is. If it's a steak, if somebody brings you the biggest, most juiciest steak and sets it at your door and and gives it to you with no, nothing attached, just eat it. And let it nourish your body. Somebody brings your favorite, whatever it is, pizza, steak, apples and oranges, whatever your favorite is, pineapples. I don't care. Everybody eat your own. But if they bring it to your door and give it to you freely, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to be scared and wonder, well, maybe they have, um, maybe they poisoned it and they want me to eat it. So that I'll die, so that I won't be their neighbor anymore. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm, I'm, or are you going to cook that steak and tell your neighbor, come over, we'll have steak together. Which one, which one are you going to do? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to know. I want to know where you guys are. I want to know what you guys feel about it. If somebody brought your favorite thing to your door, I don't, pony, it could be a pony, a car. Let's go for a ride. Let's eat. Let's, you're not going to turn them away and you're going to go that extra mile to make sure that they can take part in the gift they gave you. And that's what I'm talking about. God has Gave me understanding in my brain. And y'all could think I'm crazy if you want. It's alright. Because it's not going to hurt my feelings. Because I, I may be crazy. You could probably certify me. Actually. If you want to get technical about it. I'm certifiable. But you're here with me. You're watching Kiki TV. And we're talking real stuff. You appreciate things that are freely given to you. You share love, not hate. You feed good things. You squish out bad things. You take out the trash. You bring in the air freshener. Or open the windows. Stop being afraid. Too many of us are afraid. Afraid to succeed. Afraid to mess up. Well, what happens if I mess up? What happens if I make a fool of myself? Okay, y'all, listen. I got stories. I got stories. Let me, I, I'll start telling some stories. Come, I'll come eat with you. Come eat with me. We'll eat together. We'll all eat together. I love the women that are at my table. And I try to feed them every day. Some days I'm better at it than others. And they get that. They understand that. And they still love me. And that's the thing about all of this that is so amazing to me. That in all of this time that we've been going through COVID and being on lockdown where we can't get be by people we care about or things in this world are separating us from things that we love. It's taught me that I have more control in my life than I thought I had. It's taught me that I'm actually a pretty strong person. And years ago, I probably wouldn't have been able to say that. Even though I've been through the things I've been through and gone through the trials and all the things, I probably would have looked at you and been like, I ain't that strong. We're good. <laughs> we just holding on by threads. Some days that's true. I'm adding a little yellow to the top of that gold. Just at the top to lighten up right there. Where I came in just a little bit further than I would have probably liked. And then I'm going to kind of blend this in. 
this color so it's not so harsh right there. And I'm using that yellow to blend that gold into that. Amen. And, and, you know, that when we named Christian, um, we went, get, you know, like he's the first grandbaby he, on my side of the family. So we went through name books and we were all trying to figure out what we were going to name him because it was a big choice. It was a big decision. Thank you so much. And you can hardly tell they're hooded, can you? <laughs> I am going to go back in where I blended that together. I kind of blended that line out just a little bit. And I want to make it just a tad, tad bit darker. And I think that chocolate is going to be the color that's going to do that. Maybe. Maybe this. It's kind of orange. Let's see what happens. I just, I want people to stop being afraid and, and embrace the power that they have within them. The God-given power. That orange is actually pretty. And if you find a place that makes your heart happy, hold on to that feeling. Remember that feeling. Keep it close. Never, ever, ever forget your worth. Because that's when the things of this world will pull you down and pull you away from where you need to be. When you forget your worth. Now I'm going to go in with... That's my lip liner. This is blue. I think I'm going to use the copper. This one's the copper. Copper liner. That'll be super pretty. You feel that your mom had two strokes. It's been two years. Still no improvement. Her physical strength. It's a lot on my mom and dad and the entire family. It is. It's hard. It's hard when, when the person, it's, it's not only hard for the people around you, but it's hard for the person that's going through it. The person that you've been all your life, you wake up one day and they're, you're not the same. That's what happened to me. When I started getting sick and they found the brain tumors and stuff, the, the real, um, like I was the breadwinner in the family. I was going to college. I was I had was taking care of my uh, autistic son. I was taking care of the house. I was taking care of my my dad's house and his doctor's appointments and the things that went on there. I was taking care of a lot of things and I know I know how hard it is. I want you to always remember that that person is still there. That same person is still there. They're just differently abled. And God will show you where that ability is and give you that gift if you slow down and take the time to connect that way. Sit down. She's still there. You too, Jess. She's still there. The same person that you miss and that you're sad about, she's still in there. Because when I woke up and I couldn't remember things and I couldn't say things the right direction, and like I've been through all kinds of stuff, um, I mourned that person. And then I was getting a little bit better and then my husband and son died and I mourned that person. 
And then my niece started calling me Auntie Kiki. And that's why my name is what it is. My God-given name is Carrie. Carrie's still here. Carrie's always here. Carrie's going to be here forever. The, the Carrie that God put here. Not the carry that this earth has, has formed, but the carry that God put here is always going to be here, regardless of my abilities, until I leave this earth and go home to be with him. Whether it's in your memories or whether it's physical. That life seed, that life seed lives on through you. The love that I received, the people that my family's life touched when we were Carrie, Mark, and Christian, came out in droves because God wanted me to see all of the wonderful lives that we had touched as a family. There were lines that went down the street. And I run into some of those people in Walmart and I recognize them and I remember them from that day, but they don't they're like, I know who she is, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> you know? And I know that these things happen. But that life seed, that life seed that you love, that you've loved your entire life, that life seed is still there. Whether it's in your heart or in her beating heart, it's still there. And all of the powers that that life seed has is still there. They just might look different. So please take that into account next time you're with the people that you care about and you love. Tell them you love them. I tell you every time, I love you. Every time before I leave, I love you. Never, ever forget your worth. Remember to smile. I encourage you. Because you matter to me. I don't even, like, know you personally. I've actually, I met Jess. I talk to several of you on the phone on a regular basis, on a daily basis. But I love you and I wish you well. And there's no reason. But there's beauty. There can be beauty in death. Do you see the beauty that God showed me within their death? I never had to see them broken. For whatever reason, I couldn't get them back over into the Tennessee state from Texas. They were going to Texas to pick up his brother. I couldn't get them back over into Tennessee. Whole. They had to be cremated. I never had to see them broken. That's amazing and beautiful. That's a gift from God. I never had to see them broken. I got to tell them goodbye and I love you right before they left. That's a gift. That's beautiful. There's people that don't ever get to say goodbye. They do it in their own way to heal. <coughs> but I want you to know that you're stronger than you think you are. In many, many more ways than one. So please, just stop being scared. And allow yourself to be. Be what you've been put here Hey, Nicole, welcome. I'm sorry that I haven't talked. I've, well, I've been talking all along. Sorry I haven't, like, welcome to Kiki TV. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> I love you guys. I really do. Welcome, Nicole. Everybody, tell Nicole hi. Welcome to Kiki TV. <laughs> Let's get in with this brown eyeliner pencil. It's like Urban Decay. It's like a dupe to Urban Decay. But in my mind, only better. Because I sell it. 
Yes, I love you guys. I love it when y'all talk to each other and make friends because that's what I'm about. I'm about building relationships, about being authentic, about being real. If you like the makeup that I put on, if you like the stuff I use, hey, go get you some. I could tell you how. But I want to rather much be your friend. <laughs> and, you know, the other stuff is added bonus. <laughs> See, look, everybody talking on Kiki TV. We have a commercial break. Brought to you by the brown Faberlic eyeliner pencil. Goes on smooth as butter. Feels like silk and stays all day long. Welcome to the Kiki TV Show. We're back. Thanks, everybody, for staying through the commercial. So, the way I type line, people think I'm crazy because they're like, oh, God, you're drawing on your eyeball. But it just makes my eyes not water the way I do it. I put it in my in the hole of my eye. <laughs> like the crack. And I close down my lid. And I just do it with my eye closed because it makes me not cry. When I do it with my light open, I cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. And I have sympathetic eyes, so they cry for each other. And being an empath with sympathetic eyes is a sad, sad journey to live. <laughs> It's so pretty and shimmery. I think I'm going to add a little bit to the top of my lashes. And I'm just barely pulling on this just to hold it still because it's, it's shaking. Just a little shimmer, a little bit more dimension. And when you take, when you add dimension in places that there wasn't dimension, what it does is it pulls your eye away from the areas that you want to actually hide. See, the fact that I have hooded eyes, I don't want you to see that I have hooded eyes. So I make my eye look in dimensions. So that it pulls out the part that I want you to see and lays back the part that I want you to not see. Hey, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. You need... You needed to watch me? You needed to watch Kiki TV? Of course, everybody needs to watch Kiki TV. It's the best TV show in the land. As far as I'm concerned. You learn neat things on Kiki TV. You learn things about yourself. You learn things about others. You learn things about Kiki. You learn all kinds of stuff. You need to learn makeup if you're lucky. You have one eye that waters and le yeah, yeah. My eyes they they water all the time. I'm glad that I can help you. That's that makes my day because, like you know how. In the mornings, like what, like I, that's what I, I I watch Michelle in the morning. Roderick knows it. Like Michelle is like what I do at whatever time it is. Seven. She do, hits eight o'clock her time, so it's seven my time. Oh my gosh, we need to do a commercial. Clear American peach fuzzy water is what I call it. This is carbonated water. Is my favorite is at the Walmart store. I hope one day to be able to offer this same thing from my Faberlic store to you. If not, we can always go get it at Walmart. <laughs> so, like, when I do, like, Michelle is my coffee. She's part of my coffee. She's part of my, like, woo, I need to go in the morning. Because she brings, she's, she's, even when she don't feel good, she's still bouncing around and jumping up and down and 
all the things. And she's real. Like, she just, she, if she got snot rolling down her face, she's going to get it. If she, you know, she's just real. And I love that. I love that about her. Um, and I will always love it. And I've met a lot of you through her. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm never, ever, ever want to take you away from her because I believe that we're all friends together. And I think that that is how we can do things healthily. And I think that that's like, I, I hate that instead of supporting people, people think that they need to fight people. I love to support women that are doing what they need to be doing. I love you guys. You guys are just amazing. <laughs> let's put some mascara. We did mascara. Yeah, let's do some mascara. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going to do... Let's do the long and strong. I'm going to put some of the lip moisturizer on. Or lip a conditioner. Hydrator. Um, what this does, actually, is it gets down into the fine lines and wrinkles in your lips and fills them in, like, smooths them out, kind of, prepares your slip self, your, your, uh, lip for whatever product you're going to put on it, whatever lip product. So you want to put it on and get it going in there good before you put your lipstick on. And I usually do it before I do my mascara. Where is my? There it is. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a game changer. If you want to have lashes and you don't have lashes, look, I will show you. See the lack of lash? You see the lack of lash? I need to blend some more. That close-up just showed me I need to blend, to blend, to blend. But you see the lack of lash? Lack lash. Okay. Everybody done seeing all the closeness, right? Okay. This stuff is magic. It's our Do The Best Lash Primer. I have not tried the face primer because I use the blur cream as a face primer. And I'm probably never going to turn around from that one. Just saying. This is not that. This this was what I should have put on. The eyelid primer. That's what I should have put on before I put on my... That's not it. But I can put this on. This is my gel fixing eyebrow gel. It'll keep my brows going the direction that I want them to go in. It does not make your brows sticky. It just makes them stay how you lay them. It's pretty cool. Because mine don't. When I brush through them, they just lay back down. I got lazy brows. Anybody else got lazy brows? You're fixing your lamp. What kind of lamp? Is it like a floor lamp? A lava lamp? A bedside table lamp, couch lamp. What kind of lamp you got, Miss Rhonda? We still haven't done anything. We like I just did. A, I just did. A, honey, you have to go. Yes, go lay down. Get you some rest. I love you. Have sweet dreams. All the good things in in in. Just be, have happiness and joy, love all surrounding. A kid's closet lamp. That's fun. Like a little camp, like a little fort, like a little fort lamp for to, or just to make them be able to see inside the closet when they open the door. Say good night, Chase. Sweet dreams.
Let's say your prayers. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. My angels guide me while I rest. And wake me when I feel my best. God bless everybody in the whole wide world. Amen. See, we prayed. Good night. Lash primer, y'all, is going is is a game changer. You, if you don't have it in your cart already, waiting to buy, you're gonna want to put it in your cart because you just looked at my non-existent lashes. You couldn't even see them, right? And this lash primer is not thick. It is very pliable. I've used lash primers that are very, um. Once you put it on your lash, like it's you can't hardly cover it with the mascara because it's so uh, I can't think of the word. Can you think of the word that I'm thinking? You can already see my lashes. Look at that. I've used lash primer that's just so like um, primary. I don't know the word. That when you put mascara on, it's you can tell you have primer on. And that's not a good look if you ask me. And that's why I really like this lash primer. Because it gets every single itty bitty of one of my itty bittiest little itty bitty lashes like do you see these itty bitty little lashes down here that this is getting like that I didn't even know I had look at them lashes lord lord today put the lid back on screwed on tight tack your yeah like it I don't know. It's just primary. I don't, like, you can't cover it with your mascara. To me, that's primary. It's a kiki word. It is. It's like thickness. Too, um, gooky. It's too gooky. Too gooky for kiki. Too gooky. I can't open it. Do the, or, no, this is long and strong. On that side, it says, I'm not perfect, but my lashes are... Give yourself a, a pep talk in the morning with your, with your mascaras. Watch. Did you just see me go from like having no lashes to almost having some falsies, girls? I mean, hello. Do you see that? Like... I got lashes and a rig and this is just the first coat Look at that. For real. Like, you could take a picture of that. One side has lashes and one side has no lashes. That, that's some pretty good stuff. The primer, yes. Yes, I'm going to say yes. It's, it's much lighter than other primers I've used. And more functional, if that, that maybe is a better word than not so primary, because that was a sucky word. Tacky and sticky is, a, is better words even. I feel like I need to blend, 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 just a little bit more. You know, when you, when you blend, you probably should go back and blend again, because... Typically, you can't over blend. It's just going to look better. 
the more you land. Just soften up those edges a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the primer on this side. You know, the funniest thing about it is after, when I woke up from my little 30 minute nap that felt like a two and a half, three hour nap, um, I was like, I should do this on YouTube? Are you serious? No, surely not. It's going to be posted to YouTube. I'm going to share it to YouTube. But I knew that somebody that I talked to on the regular needed to hear the message that God gave me. And that's why I came live. Plus, I want to see you guys and hang out with y'all. Because it's very important to me. You all are. Jack came in and opened the door. So you probably hear the TV now. I hope Facebook doesn't get mad. Is dinner almost done, Jack? Is that what you coming in here to tell me? You hear him talking to me back there, y'all? My dog be bossing me around. Baby boy Jack, is dinner done? Is that what you're telling me? Or are you telling me that you miss me? You, you do. You miss me. You want mommy to get on the couch so you can sit on her lap? Huh? Or you want to play? What, what, how do you miss me? You want me to take you outside potty? It's dark. Huh? How do you miss me? Are you hungry? You tired of bugging daddy? about it. I'm telling you, this lash primer brings life to your eyeball holes. It's amazing. You have to have it. I think, <coughs> I, I think we've lost everybody, Jack. I was I was all on fire, and then I kind of went to sleep. I'm sorry, y'all, for, for like, I, but I just had to share that it's possible to change your life all by yourself through God. We have, we have the power and the strength to change what we look, what we, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Stephanie says you're hungry. Come here. Come here. Stephanie said you're hungry. Oh, he got in trouble. Daddy said, out. <laughs> he come went running. <laughs> Did you hear him mouthing after me though? He was talking to me about it. He talks to us all the time like that. All the time. It's super funny. Now he's itching on the door. And then when, he, when we say something he doesn't like, he goes... <laughs> he's like a little people. He's like our boy child. <laughs> yes, I need... I. It's it's been so cold, y'all. I do need to do some more backyard shenanigans. We haven't done those in a while, but I did it all day that day that it snowed, and the next morning I felt like I was sick, and I was like, "Oh no, I can't be sick." Hey, Tina. <laughs> yes, he is very verbal. He he verbally abuses me sometimes. He even Ugh. yes, I have to teach him a lesson. When he does that, his daddy gets a hold of him, yanks him up, and says, Boy, you don't talk to your mama that way. We treat him like a child. He's a child. He's our boy. He's our dog child. He might as well. He eats what we eat. Like the meat we eat, we always eat a meat. And we prepare a separate portion of it for him. So he eats meat. He's a meat eater. Hey, Tina. Did I say hi? I think I did. I forget. 
it's okay. I'll tell you hi all night long if you want me to. I say hi to everybody over and over and over. Hey, Barb's. We have had a lot of new people here tonight. Rhonda. I don't even know if you, you're still here. Rhonda Nevu. Neviu. Neviu. Yay. I'm so glad you, you came. I'm so glad all of you are here. I'm so glad. Hey. Do you see what this lash primer is doing me? It is bringing... There you are. It has brought life to life, life, lifeless lashes. This life... Life primer. Lash primer is absolutely amazing. Let me try to use y'all. Let me bring you in just a little bit so I can maybe see. Like, I have you, I, w I got all up in your face just a minute ago so you could see my non existent lashes. And now I'm about to get in your face again so you can see the, all the lashes that I do have. This, and it doesn't look primary like sometimes you get lash primers and you could see the white like you could see a little bit of white right there on my lash line I'm going to go back in with that copper but you can see the white through your uh, mascara and that's it doesn't do that it just gives like life to your eye hole it's it's this life life giving it's not primary it's not too primary but it gives it that uh, extra boom extra oomph and this is the long and strong and it has in inside of it the long and strong long and strong and look it says where well I'm not perfect, but my lashes are. <laughs> I love it. So, this is called Long and Strong because it has in it um, special ingredients that help your lashes to stay longer. Because hair, your hair naturally turns over like you lose hair every day. And your lashes are hair. So, it helps your lashes to last longer, stay longer, and get grow longer and stronger, long and strong. That's what it is, it's good stuff. It's on a silicone wand. Where do you get the lash primer? Um, send me a uh, text message and I'll send you my link. Or you can just go to kikilanelove.com. Kiki, like my first name, K-I-K-I, -K -I, Lane, like rain, Straight and narrow path that's cleansing. L A I N love L O V E dot com. And it is the do the best primer. It comes in a package that looks like <laughs> Boost My Lash is what it's called. It looks like this, the package does. And it's like seven around seven dollars maybe seven you can get it on my website kikilanelove.com that's the back side that's the front side it's with glam team boost my lashes do the best and that's all we can ever ask of each other is to do our best the long and strong you can also find on my website all of the things I used except for the eyeshadow palettes came from my company. And you can get them all on my website. And if you purchase $25 or more, you get 20% off. If you would like to do what I do, um, make friends and work from home on your phone, it is work. I'm not going to tell you it's not. Because there are work parts to it. A lot of it is fun. It's like this. But there are behind the scenes things that you, you need to do. You need to help yourself. You have to learn. You have to not be afraid to learn something new every day. You have to not be afraid to get out of your box. Because this job will get you out of your box. It will. And it actually helps you grow in a lot of ways. Um, 
But if you want to do that, it's $28 a year. It's like a membership, kind of like to, um, you know how you do a membership with Costco or um, something like a place like that. It's, it's like a membership. When you are a consultant, you get a 26% discount instead of a 20% discount. And you get all different kinds of promotions and different things to take advantage of. Um, this company is based on love. It was founded during the during Russia's Great Depression. Um, the gentleman that founded it, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I, please forgive me and apologize. It's a Russian name and it's really hard for me to even think about those letters all together. Um, so I apologize. That's my bad. Um, but you can find all this information on my website. Uh, he he founded the company during the Great Depression because he saw people without. Um, and he wanted them to have good products for prices that they could afford. So he was on a mission. And he's still on that mission today. And I love it. We have over 20 patents. That means that we have products that no one else in this world can sell. We have nationwide selling power. And we love each other. <coughs> we not only as a team love on each other, but as a company, as a whole, it's based on love, on ethics. You know, they have five, five uh, main things that they work from as their business model. Number one is love. And then it goes on down. When I found this company, I was in a place where I felt very deceived. And um, I wasn't able to offer the things that I wanted to be able to offer to all the people that I wanted to be able to offer them to. Because um, they were very expensive. I could, I had a hard time even purchasing. And I can I ask you to buy something or even like something that I can't even hardly buy for myself. So it just wasn't a good match. This, on the other hand, has been absolutely amazing. Um, the only thing that I've used that I don't really care a lot for has been, um, I don't know, I kind of like it though. The eyeshadow primer, it's not a tacky primer. It's not a sticky primer. It's a powdery primer. It gives, it's it's almost like our blur cream in the fact that it leaves like a silky feel. Um, so it's a different type of primer than what I've been used to. So I like it. It is. It's amazing. It, and because I have on my team and at my table the most amazing people we have great mentors um, that offer training that people would charge thousands for for free for everybody on our team and will teach you about yourself and about how to run a business how to brand yourself as a brand rather than you're working for Blow Joe down the street. It's it's you. This is Kiki Lane Love TV. This is this is what we are. This is what my company is. This is what it is. This is what you get when when you when you come here all the time. And I'm always honest with you. Some days is better than others. I need some lips. I don't want to put anything on my face. I just need some lips. We're going to use the Glam Matte Lip Pencil in shade 40850, and it is True Nude. And you can look these up on numbers with, see how it has the little lips on it? So you don't mess it up with the eye pencil because the eye pencil has eyes on it instead of lips. Isn't that cute? That's like a little, just a sweet, it's a cute little thing. I 
I love a true nude because in my mind, I can use a true nude with any lip color because it just gives a good foundation, a good stopping point to any lip color. Because the lip color I'm going to use is um, a kiss, the Kiss Proof, I believe it's Raspberry. It's 40946. <laughs> so excited. And here's the Kiss Proof. Look at this cute little container. Well, it's not, it's not little, little. It fits like, it fits in my hand. But there's a lot of product in it. It's a lot of lipstick. And it's Kiss Proof in a, in a stick. Isn't that nice? It's so pretty. Hey, Sabrina! And I just love this color. It's like, it's, it's the perfect color for any I look. Like, it's a perfect neutral kind of color. And I used oranges and golds and browns on my eye. So, this is a little, this is so much to look. I've really enjoyed you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope that I have made something positive, a little light place in your day today. I want you to never, ever forget your worth. Always remember that somebody out here loves you. That's Kiki. And always, hey Sabrina, I love you. Remember when you put lipstick on to go like this. You see that lipstick right there? That would have ended up on my teeth. So do that anytime you put lipstick on so you don't get lipstick teeth when you smile. Okay. Smile, since we're on that topic, because when you smile, it releases endorphins and dopamines into your brain that make happiness happen. There's studies on it. It actually releases good things into your brain and says, be happy, be happy, be happy. Plus, if you smile at somebody... They might have needed to see that smile today. There's been many days that if I didn't see somebody smile, it would have made my day a really bad day. Hey, baby. Hmm. Am I beautiful? Yes, you are. I love you. I love you, too. I'm yes, telling everybody you. bye. You want to tell everybody bye? <laughs> no, I don't want to get in the camera. Yeah, come on, baby. <laughs> tell, tell everybody, tell them. There's only three people here now. I'm telling them bye. Look, he's so big he doesn't fit. Here, we got it. There, see? Hey, everybody, that's my Roderick. I love him. He's so good to me. I love you all. Remember to smile. Yes, I did. I, I think Stephanie, weren't you here that night? I read. Hey, hey, Rod. Yeah, Sabrina said hey. Stephanie, weren't you here the night I read the book? Are you still here, Stephanie? Stephanie probably left. Because <laughs> I was saying my, my closing spiel. Stephanie probably left. But I actually read a kid's book. It was it has a really good um, story to it. It's an amazing little story. And I read a kid book. And it actually got a lot of views. So this is the look. we The little eye look we did. Really simple. Not nothing... It was like three or four colors that I threw up in there. Used the bronze uh, line and pencil to tight line. And then I did a little bit on the top, back next to my lash line. I used our primer and long and strong. 
and the raspberry um, kiss proof lip with the natural nude lip liner. And I went to church for a little bit. I'm sorry. Not sorry. At all. Because I, I needed to say it. I, I don't know who needed to hear it, but I needed to say it. And I'm so very thankful for each and every one of you that have stopped by. That have sh that sh <laughs> Welcome to Kiki TV, where we can't talk right half the time, and half the time we can. It's okay. We still love each other. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you so much. Yes, have a good night. Sweet dreams. And I will see you. Thank you, Rhonda. And thank you for coming and visiting and finding me however you did. I'm thankful for it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm truly, and cause that's how I get to meet people is when you guys share my love. When you guys say, hey, she's kind of fun to listen to or talk to or sometimes she says some things that actually make sense. I start a lot of stories and never finish them. It's kind of like a rolling thing. You have to stay tuned for the next episode because then I usually finish the story or just continue with it. <laughs> it's special. <laughs> It's special. It's Kiki TV is a special time. <laughs> I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> and if I don't see you like this, I'll at least see you in my stories. But I'm planning on seeing you like this because I love it. It'll probably be tomorrow afternoon. Because usually afternoons are a little bit easier for me. But you like this channel? We're going to put it on favorite list. Kiki's. Kiki. We got Kiki TV on. Facebook, Instagram, well, I don't do TV on Instagram. I do TV on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, because Instagram won't let me share. But, it's okay. Because I have to go live there. And it's, and when, now, when, when, because not if, when, when I get another device, another phone, so I have two phones, I'll be able to do, I'll be able to go live on Instagram and Facebook at the same time, or Facebook and TikTok, or Facebook, but I have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, I think that's all, I don't know, uh, I will, my link tree, if you go, uh, link tree, if you go to the link tree page and do Kiki Lane Love, dot com under link tree that's my link tree uh address too it just has link tree in front of it um but and i'll post it after after the live uh i'll post my link tree at the bottom and you can find all the things kiki loves and follow me on all of my platforms because if i reach a certain amount of followers on like youtube i can go live on youtube and i want to be able to do that one day that's a goal of mine. So go follow me in all the places. Love me everywhere. And spread my love everywhere. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Sweet dreams.